Namaste students, welcome to our previous class. In the previous lessons, we learnt about how animals produce their young ones. Laying eggs and giving birth directly to the young ones. We also learnt how the babies get the features from their parents. Right? In today's class, we are going to learn lesson 8.3, looking after young ones. We will learn how the parent animals take care of their young ones. In what ways do they take care of their young ones? Here on the screen, you can see the picture of a duck carrying its baby. Okay, a baby duck is called as a duckling, right? So, the duckling, you can say it is uh, being carried by its mother, okay, as it is swimming. So, the mother uh, duck is trying to protect the baby duck from other animals, right? So, let us move ahead and learn more about other animals, how they take care of their young ones, right? We already know that animals lay eggs or give direct birth to produce young ones. Today, we will learn how animals care for their young ones in different ways. For this, what are the things that you are going to do? Okay, what are the things that you are going to keep ready? A small bowl, few dry leaves, two cotton balls, a few twigs, okay, one chart with pictures of parents and their young ones, right? The keywords that the keywords that we are going to learn are nest. What is nest? A home built by a bird. Pouch, a pocket like space in the body of some animals to carry the young ones, okay? What is pouch? Some animals have a bag like uh, a part where they carry their young ones. So, so what is this for? So, we, we wanted to keep these things ready for the activity, right? So, first you take a bowl which is shown here in this picture. Okay, it will be available in the kitchen. You can ask your uh, parents to give it. Then, the next thing is that you need some dry leaves right just right so we need some dry leaves some cotton balls and some twigs so with these you are going to make a nest for the bird okay so what is that we are going to learn from this activity we will learn right now Look at the chart showing different animals and their babies. Note how they take care of their young ones. Right? Here in this picture, you can see that the first white color bird, okay, it is a swan. Okay, it, the bird is called as swan. Right? It has five babies, five young ones. So, the swan is teaching its young ones to swim. Okay, as a parent, it is teaching its young ones how to swim, right? This is one way of taking care of young ones. Then here you can see this picture. It is a kangaroo, right? Kangaroos are found mostly in the continent of Australia, right? So can you see anything different with this animal? Can you find something special? You can see the baby kangaroo is being carried in its pouch. The mother kangaroo has a pouch kind of thing attached to its body. Right? In this pouch, the mother kangaroo carries its baby. Right? So, let's move ahead. Let us watch this video. Parent animals take care of their babies in different ways. They feed their babies and make homes for them to live and grow. Some parent animals carry their babies to protect them 
from other animals. Parents also teach their babies how to fly or swim. Let us watch this video once again. So we are going to learn what are the things that parent animals do for their young ones. Right? Parent animals take care of their babies in different ways. They feed their babies and make homes for them to live and grow. Some parent animals carry their babies to protect them from other animals. Parents also teach their babies how to fly or swim. So now, can you tell me the four things that the parent animals teach their young ones? First one, okay, how do they take care of their young ones? They provide food and shelter. They also protect them. They carry them and protect them from other animals. And they also teach new things like how to swim or how to walk or how to fly, how to hunt. These things are taught by the parent animals. So these are the ways that the parent animals take care of their young ones. Let's learn more. Okay. How do swans and kangaroos take care of their babies? The mother swan teaches her young chicks to swim in water. The mother kangaroo keeps her baby warm and safe in her body pouch. So, the mother swan teaches its babies how to swim in water. Quack, quack, right? Then the mother kangaroo, what does it do? It carries its baby in the pouch. It has a pouch in its body, right? So, mother kangaroo takes care of uh, its baby kangaroo so that uh, yeah, the baby kangaroo doesn't get harmed or in order to protect her baby kangaroo from other animals the mother kangaroo carries its baby in the pouch right now how do animals take care of their young ones most animals take care of their young ones until they can take care of themselves animals like birds make nests to lay eggs and bring food for the young chicks. Animals like swans teach their chicks to swim in water. Animals like kangaroos carry their babies in their body pouches to keep them warm and safe. Okay, Animals like birds, they make nests and lay eggs and bring food. Animals like swans teach the chicks to how to swim. Animals like kangaroos carry their babies in their body pouches to keep them warm and safe okay birds lay eggs bring food make nests right animals like swans teach their young ones to swim in water kangaroos carry their babies in the pouch to keep them warm and safe now let us look at this flow chart we are going to draw this in our evs class work okay Ways in which animals carry their young ones. Okay. Ways in which animals care for their young ones. How do the animals take care of their young ones? Number one, birds make nests. Okay. Right. Birds make their nests. We have made a nest right earlier. Okay. Mother birds make nest. Okay. Parent bird make nest for their young ones. Swans, swans teach their chicks how to swim. Kangaroos keep their babies in a body pouch. Okay. Birds make nest for their young ones to keep them safe. Okay. To protect from other animals. They also feed their young ones. Okay. Then swans, swans teach their young ones how to swim. Kangaroos keep their babies in the pouch 
so that the babies feel warm so that they are protected from other animals right students so shall we move to the next point right why do some birds like cuckoos lay their eggs in the nests of other birds oh my god see this bird lays its eggs in the nests of other birds why like this okay cuckoo birds lay their eggs in the nest of other birds so that other parent birds can take care of their newborn chicks okay cuckoo cuckoo means coil okay coila right it uh, sings like this right in summer season coo coo right so cuckoo birds lay their eggs in the nests of other birds so that other parent birds can take care of their newborn chicks sometimes human parents also cannot take care of their own children or maybe uh, may not be alive to do so so other adults called foster parents take care of the children as they grow so here in this picture you can see the baby okay he she is being uh, he is being taken care by his foster parents right let's move ahead and this is your worksheet nana all of you open your worksheet this is worksheet 8.3 looking after young ones put today's date question 1 circle the home of a frog okay circle the home of a frog so is it a pond is it a nest is it a cave the answer you have to circle we all know that it is a pond you have to circle the pond why because we know that birds live in nests and animals like tiger and lion live in caves right so you are going to circle the pond question 2 look at the pictures and complete the table so here in the pictures we we can see the pictures of a tiger and its cub and elephant and its baby elephant how does the animal take care of its baby so tell me students how does uh, the tiger take care of its baby the tiger teaches its baby how to walk how to hunt how to protect itself right and here how the elephant is taking care of its baby it is protecting its baby and it is also seeing it takes care that the baby elephant is close to it right so the elephant is protecting its baby from other animals the tiger is teaching the baby okay its baby or its young one many things right question 3 right one way in which you can take care of a baby bird that fell from its nest sometimes very rarely we'll see that the baby birds fall out of their nest either from the trees we all know that nests we find more on the trees right sometimes the baby birds which are there in the nest fall down on the ground so what can we do beta you tell me if you are there how will you take care of the baby bird what will you do yes i will pick up the baby bird and keep it back in its nest right that is the answer let's move ahead and do the practice questions all of you open your content book and this is these are the practice questions first one tick the ways in which an eagle looks after its young ones eagle is a very big bird so how does the eagle take care of its young ones a it builds a nest for them b it carries them in a body pouch c it brings food for them so it brings food for them you can tick and it builds a nest for them also you can tick it doesn't carry in a body pouch because only kangaroo we as far as we know kangaroos carry their babies in the pouch an eagle does not so you are going to tick a and c question 2 how do animals like kangaroos take care of their young ones animals like kangaroos carry their babies in the pouch to keep their babies warm and safe i repeat animals like kangaroos carry their babies in the pouch to keep their babies 
warm and safe right let us read the next question question second b how can living in herds help care for young ones yes living in herds okay if any predator of any if any other animals come to kill the baby animals the remaining animals in the herd will come for its protection okay the remaining animals in the herd will protect this one animal so it is always helpful to live in herds especially the young ones of animals if they are in a herd in a group of animals of their own kind they are safe they will be safe from other animals right third question a cuckoo bird lays eggs in the nest of other birds why does the cuckoo bird do this a cuckoo bird lays its eggs in the nests of other anim other birds because it can't take care of his young one okay so that the other uh, birds can take care of the cuckoo's young ones right you can write anything so it is a very interesting lesson nana once again from this blog we learned about how animals produce their young ones egg laying animals mammals we also learned how animals take care of the their young ones right so that's all for now complete your worksheet as well as practice questions from the content book thank you